All right, Fire Mechanic here, and I'm working on a Chevrolet truck um, or GMC. This applies to several different models, and we're diagnosing um, trouble code P0332 for knock sensor circuit, low input bank two, and a P0327 knock sensor circuit, low input bank one. Um, basically, what these uh, codes are indicating is there is a low sensor um voltage return on that circuit so we either got a wiring problem or a knock sensor haven't done the diag yet but typically what goes bad on these is an knock sensor sometimes those harnesses will also uh connections will get corroded so it's always recommended you replace the harnesses but i will leave a link below in the video description where you can find the uh, knock sensors and the harness for these chevy trucks um i also pulled this service bulletin up here that applies to several different models and it looks like they're wanting you to put RTV around the sensor itself. But basically if you're getting these knock sensor co codes in your um, Chevrolet or GMC, uh, it pertains to several different models here. You can see a 98 to 2002 Chevy Camaro or Corvette, 98 to 2002 Pontiac Firebird with a 5.7 liter even, um, 99 to 2000 Chevrolet, GMC, uh, pickup utility models, Avalanche, Silverado, Sahara, Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon, Yukon XL, Yukon Denali, Yukon, Yukon XL with a 4.8 liter, 5.3 liters, or 6.0 liter. So this pertains to many different uh, Chevrolet and GMC or GM models. And um, here's a picture of the knock sensors on these uh, vehicles are actually located underneath the intake manifold as you can see see here we got knock sensor one knock sensor two um, this is the harness connector that you're going to want to replace um, like i said i leave i got links in the video description you can actually buy these on amazon relatively cheap so uh you can read that underneath there also there's some other useful diagnostic information as far as the ohm values or whatnot and there's a second page to this here too but Let's just go over this one real quick. It looks like they're wanting you to uh, replace a rear bank knock sensor and build a damp wall around the sensor using RTV. So basically, they, when you install these new sensors, they're gonna want they're wanting you to put RTV around them to basically detour water from sitting on them and rust rotting out. Because if you're in a, any any of the rust belts here in uh, United States, you will notice that water can build up in there and they will actually rot those knock sensors out and as you're going to remove them, they'll actually come apart in two pieces, so. But the RTV is gonna prevent that from happening. Uh, here's another picture of the knock sensors in the valley. Also, here is, uh, they have a rubber boot that usually sits over them and the harness coming out here. And also, um, the diagnostic times to replace the knock sensor. Looks like it's about two hours. Um, if it's got a new jar valve, they give you a little extra time and um, they give you a little extra time to put the RTV around the new knock sensors. But pretty much just wanted to uh, tell you guys what was involved in repairing these codes. If uh, it does come down to the knock sensor being bad, which typically is the case. And I just wanted to show this uh, service bulletin. So if you are doing the repair, uh, you know to add that RTV like they were saying to uh, prevent you know, any future failure. But that's about gonna do it for this quick little video. Hope it helps. Um, I will also, if the customer decides to repair these knock sensors on this Chevy truck, I will go ahead and do a video on that as well and do a quick overview on what it takes to get that intake off and what you're gonna have to remove those, sen those knock sensors. But thanks for watching guys. If this video was helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Flat Rate Mechanic. Till next time.